Okay guys, it's Saturday morning again and uh, it's another time to do another Saturday morning breakfast where I go extensively all the way out prepare, to, to prepare me something that I'm, I would really, really enjoy um, to make up for Make up for the days when I was not able to make a big, good, healthy breakfast. So this morning we're gonna be making guatem making um, scrambled egg and guatemole guatemole um, breakfast. So I started. What we're gonna need. So this dish this morning is avocado just here I start squishing that I'm just going to use a big spoon sorry to continue to squish this this is just avocado that I've already scooped out And you need to squish it, every bit of it that all the pieces and lumps are gone. So I'm just squishing this with a spoon. I started with a fork, then I'm going to continue with the, the back of the spoon, as you can see. And again, I'm using a camera that I don't have a flip screen, so If I'm not in focus, please forgive me. But you can see we're squishing out the avocado. What else are we going to need for this dish? We're going to need lime juice, but I prefer to use the lemon. So here's the lemon that we'll be using, but I've already gone ahead and Free juice. So here you go. It's the lemon juice here. And I'm just going to put a few teaspoons of lemon juice in this. So hopefully you can see. Then we're going to need jalapeno pepper, which I've gone ahead and cut and scoop out. It's very hot so you gotta be careful. Just a few pieces and you're gonna need onion which I've gone ahead and pre-cut so we're just gonna make them a few more pieces smaller. We're gonna pour that in. Make your guacamole guacamole you want to make sure you don't make it too saggy, so don't put too much um, lemon juice. And you're going to need tomatoes, so what you're going to do... I'm just cutting the jalapeno pepper. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully, let me just reverse a little bit so you can see. And lower my camera a little bit more. Very good. There we go. I'm just cutting the jalapeno pepper. This is very hot pepper, so you just want to put, be careful the amount you put in. Maybe just a few pieces would be good if you are not good at using pepper. This is very warm. You can set your mouth on fire. So I'm just cutting a few pieces. We're going to pour that in. So, we're going to need some tomatoes. And I'm going to take out the seeds because um, that can make it saggy. So I'm just going to take out the seeds really quickly. You don't want it to be saggy. I'm going to be preparing another dish, so 
pack of this, so don't forget to check back here. That one will be posted tomorrow. Take out the seeds really quickly. I'm just gonna squeeze them out in here. Just cut your tomatoes in small pieces and pour them in. So you're just gonna pour everything in to the same container. of garlic. Which I'm gonna squish and then cut them in pieces, small pieces. Let's be careful with the knife, guys. I mean small pieces also. We're gonna put some cilantro in. Fresh cilantro guys. Fresh. Cilantro, don't forget to wash them. Make them clean. So here my cilantros. Just wash them. So I'm just gonna chop them small pieces. I'm gonna use the stems also. I love the stems. The crunchiness of the stems. So just cut these in really, really small pieces and cut them again if you have to. So what, cut them once, cut them twice. So the cilantro are done. We're going to pour that in also. We're going to mix it. The only thing left to be done now is to mix it all together. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. If you want, you can put a little sauce, which I really like. So I'm going to put some of my pink salt. Just a pinch of salt, of course. No, this is the salt I love to use. Focus, focus, focus. Millennium salt. Just a pinch of salt. And that's good. We're going to mix it all together. I'm up close and personal so you can see. And it's not too saggy because... Um, took out the, the, the seeds of the tomato that would make it very saggy and we didn't put a lot of lemon juice in so it's not really saggy, saggy at all yeah put it. Mm. wow mm. this is good mm. Mm. Tastes so good. Yeah. 
shirt done. We're gonna go to the stove and we're gonna do some scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. But let me wash this um, cherry. We're gonna have cherries. Let's see. Oops, so there. So we're gonna be having cherries. I love to use these are free range extra large kosher approved nature's yolk from free range hens hmm. brown eggs certified humane no animal byproducts no antibiotics and no hormones added is this good or what <laughs> All right, we're gonna make we're gonna make fluffy, fluffy scrambled eggs. And then we're gonna be having coffee this morning. I'm gonna clean as I go. Okay, guys, so. Now that the guacamole is already is ready to be served, we're gonna do scrambled eggs and we're just gonna have that all of that this morning with um, a simple we're not gonna go like in the frying and all of that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna just serve this with um, all wheat bread and it's multi-grain, so um, wheat and everything in that one so that's what but we're gonna go ahead with the my camera just died so i would already broken the eggs and um, they're ready to be beaten so I just um, put two eggs in a container and I'm just whisking them with just an ordinary plastic fork I don't want to use the metal ones because these are my prized <laughs> cooking rare and um, I just I'm just using um, I don't know if you can see oops I'm just whisking the two eggs beating them and they I'm gonna put like just so minimal um, oil in the skillet because um, with scrambled eggs you do not want a lot of oil so for two eggs I would estimate um, half a teaspoon of oil I'm using the Western canola oil for this and um, you don't want to beat this um, really, really good. And you want to make sure your pot is like about on medium heat and um, it's not overheated but hot enough that once you put the eggs in, it's going to start, um, the sides of the eggs are going to start turning white and that is when you start moving your eggs to the center of the, of the um, skillet. And move it along so you get that beautiful fluffy concept so we're gonna go to the stove now to finish the process and that's the egg seeds already beaten nicely beaten and so we're gonna go ooh, ooh, to our stove <laughs> yeah so my stove is really crowded today because um, right after this dish it's coming up on um, vegetable soup and it's strictly vegan now um, let me see if I'm positioned correctly here yes we are and so you see my skillet and um, I'm gonna put some pepper and some salt in so that's what you see in like right over here um, this is my vegetable my beans are getting ready for the next cooking session which is going to be dinner so oopsie, what am I doing I want you guys to see um, the beans are here so that, that that dish is coming up let me let you see I don't know if you can see but that's a bee there and um, in my sled just about um, half a teaspoon of oil 
which is when you're doing um, scrambled eggs, you do not want to use a lot of oil. And I'm going to put my heat back on medium. I'm, this is already preheated, so I'm going to pour this in. And we're going to move this along. All right. The moment you see the white around the edge of your dish, then it is time to start pushing it into the center. I'm going to go a little bit closer so you can see. So I start getting the white. And I move you closer so you can see. And I'm um, just pushing that along. Just push it along to the center. Push that along to the center. And after we are satisfied, you don't want it to sear. 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 <laughs> Why is it I can't talk today? You don't want a sear color. You just want it to... You want to just know that the egg is cooked on one side and then you turn it around so the other side can get cooked also. And the same concept, just push the eggs along to move it around so it does not get a color. And because I'm tilting my camera, I can't even, as you can see, you start to get that fluff. You start to get that fluff. You start to get that fluff. So yeah, isn't it cool? Look at that. So good. And it's just about done. It's done. So we're going to go back to the counter. Okay, so a quick move. The eggs. Here are the eggs, guys. Here are the eggs. I'm just going to put the guacamole in. Alright, so that's the eggs there. I'm just going to put a few tomatoes in. And some cilantro. I can move these dishes along. They're done. I'm just going to put the eggs here. Isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can zoom in. So you guys can see how beautiful this looks. So pretty. So very pretty. Can't wait to eat. Got up close with my lighting. Whoops! My camera is everywhere. Now, these are the old wheat bread I told you about. We're just going to cut them, make them more edible, small pieces, you can pick up and just eat it. And if you prefer, you can put butter or cheese or whatever you like. I'm not going to put that. And now, we're just about ready to do our break, um, coffee to complete the process. This morning, um, I was going to have our grey tea, but I'm not. I'm going to have coffee. So, I've already started the coffee. I'm going to move this away. We're going to have some... We're going to have that. Alright, did I tell you guys I bought a nice coffee cup? The guacamole I'm going to take out now and put in it also over there so I don't forget it before I make this coffee because the coffee is going to be the last thing. So I'm just going to put the bread there. Guacamole I'm going to put over here. It tastes so good guys. Oops. I tasted some just now. It is. I can't wait to eat. Oh, it is so good. You should go out and try it, guys. I'm telling you, I'm not going to be disappointed. It's so good. Mm. This tastes so good, guys. I'm going to put a little more lemon juice over. Over it. I'm going to drizzle a little more lemon juice all over it. How is this ready to be served? Mm. 
Mm. Just right. So, mm. I'm going to move this away so we can do some coffee. Yeah, guys, I bought this lovely coffee mug. Loving it. So I'm going to do the coffee using my ninja. I want you guys to see. I'm using my favorite Dutch cup. Zip boat. Boat. The boat. <laughs> Press. Has this, I think it's shovel or something. Anyway, the coffee is already in here. So, I just put the coffee in, put water here, and I want it to be over um, rich brew. So I'm going to hit the rich brew. It's going to do its thing. I might be doing this for later. I definitely want to do that. I'm going to use my coffee cup. Okay. So the, the coffee, I just put the coffee in here. Oh, sorry, you were not seeing. The coffee I pop in here, and I just hit this button here. And if I can zoom in, then you'll see. Yes, guys, so I put the coffee in here, and I put it on Rich Brew, which is here. And then the water is in here already, and I'm using my favorite favorite Dutch cup there and um, I'm gonna pour that into my coffee cup that I just bought loving it can you see can you see coffee <laughs> yeah so it's just about ready to go so breakfast is done so I'm just gonna pour I'm gonna stop this, put it on no drip, turn this off, put it in. Oops! And I have a spare. So I'm gonna pour some milk here. Yeah, let's see. We are ready to go. Let's try this. I forgot I'm not doing tea. I totally forgot I'm not doing tea. No tea for me today. I'm doing coffee. Yeah, so we're ready. Oh, that's good. My coffee, guys. Mmm. Mmm. So rich. So good. Oh, I can't wait to drink. Put this away and we're ready to eat. Yeah, guys. That's breakfast there. Just zoom in so you can see. That is breakfast, guys. I went all out today. On a Saturday, I told you guys I have to go all the way out because. Gonna be, I don't get to have a super breakfast. I want you guys just to enjoy this with me. I can't wait to begin again. As usual, I go. I went straight for the guacamole. Hmm. 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 Mm. This is so good. So good, man. Nice. 
the scrambled eggs. We take the first bite of this. Come on, go ahead. This is so good, guys. Mmm. Mmm. This is so, so good. How about a tomato? Mmm. Very good. So juicy and good. And again, my favorite summer fruit. Cherries and lamb and um, melon are my favorite. And so guys, I want to thank you for another moment with Maggie Me cooking in the kitchen, summer breakfast, and today we're not having tea. We're going to be having salsa water. Salsa water, guys. And so, here's to a happy, healthy life. Go out there and try these dishes. Mm. I can't stop eating. Go out there and try these dishes. And if it comes out very good, tasting everything, come back here and let me know. But on your way out, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and click the bell right off the subscribe button. Once you subscribe, that button will become activated. Hit that bell, and whenever I upload, you'll be the first to be notified. So until the next dish, which is going to be dinner, Return, enjoy your day, and cheers. Mm. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Mm.